Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at three questions from the Biology 2019 Paper 1 exam. The first question is, which is the correct zonation of mangroves in the Bahamas? We are given four options, and at the top of the bar it shows an arrow that's pointing from seawood to landwood. And so in our options, option A, we see here that the most seawood plant would be the buttonwood, the white, the black, and then the red. So according to option A, the buttonwood would be the plant that's located in the water and the red mangrove would be the one that is more located in the land. Option B, white mangrove, black mangrove, red mangrove, and then the buttonwood. Option C, the black mangrove being more seawood than the red, the buttonwood, the white. Or option D, the red mangrove being more seawood than the black, the white, and the buttonwood. Based on these four options, we know that the red mangrove is the mangrove that is more seawood. This is the mangrove plant that has the large prop roots, which allows the tree to remain stable in the wet and muddy environments. After the red mangrove, it's usually the black mangrove that has the pneumatophores, then the white mangrove, and then the buttonwood. So the answer to this question would be D. In the next question, it says, what adaptation of animals living on a sandy beach helps to protect them from drying out and predators. So we're looking to find out what adaptation is used by animals in order to protect them from drying out and also to protect them from predation. The options are A, borrowing in the sand, B, camouflage, C, exoskeleton, and D, filter feeding. Let's take a look at it. Borrowing in the sand, that's the animal digs itself into the sand or B, camouflage. That is something that a lot of animals do. You'll notice if you're on the sandy shore, a lot of animals have the same, the color of the animal is the same as the sand. Also C, exoskeleton, that's a hard outer shell. Or D, filter feeding. Well, let's look at the process of elimination. Filter feeding does not help an animal um, from drying out. The exoskeleton is an option, but that's not the answer because it doesn't protect them from predators. Camouflage can protect them from predators, but it does not help them from drying out. So the answer to this question is going to be A. The animals burrow in the sand. By doing that, they're not exposed to the air, so they can't dry out. And also, once they're buried in the sand, they're protected from predators. In question number eight, it says, which apparatus is being used in this ecological field study? In the picture here, we have a scientist or a student who is studying some sort of fauna or flora on the ground. And we have four options to choose from. A, measuring tape, B, pitfall trap, C, quadrat, or D, sweep net. Using the options of elimination, we can say it's not the pitfall trap, it is not a sweep net, and it's also not a measuring tape. So the answer here would be C, quadrat. A quadrat is used in ecological field studies to study a specific area of a habitat. So that's it for this video. If you need more help preparing for your biology exam, go ahead and download our biology exam and surpass papers or sign up for our biology online classes. See you next time.